Whitley and welcome to Universities Compete, the ultimate student game show where universities from all around the country battle it out in crazy challenges in the hope that they will be crowned as New Zealand's best university. Today on the show we have three challenges lined up that will test the students' thinking skills, stamina and their ability to stay cool under pressure. The team with the highest point score by the end of the show wins. But first, let's meet the teams. Today we have Auckland University competing against AUT University. Hi, my name is Prashni Lawrence and I am from AUT University. Kia ora, my name is Joshua Sefo and I'm studying at AUT. Salute, my name is Hayley and I study at AUT University. Kia ora, my name is Erica and I study at the University of Auckland. Hi guys, my name is Sajan and I study at the University of Auckland. Kia ora, my name is Amelia Devati and I study at the University of Auckland. Well, it looks like it's going to be an exciting show. Now, teams, are you ready to get started? Yeah! <laughs> well, let's get straight into our first challenge, the Bean Boozled Quiz Off. Bean Boozled Quiz Off. There will be a round of unique quiz questions. With every question you answer correctly, your team gets one point, and the other team must eat a bean boozled jelly bean. And with every question you answer incorrectly, your team has to eat a bean boozled jelly bean. Beware, as these are no ordinary jelly beans. In the mix, we have some tasty flavors like pear and buttered popcorn and some not so tasty flavors like stinky socks and skunk spray, just to name a few. Remember, you must use your faculty's buzzer to answer. Okay teams, the Bean Boozled Quiz Off begins now. What song do these lyrics come from? You have to name the song and the artist. Okay. Because you're too sexy, beautiful, and everybody wants a taste. Oh, I know. That's why, that's why I still get jealous. <coughs> Auckland University, you've buzzed in. Um, is that Nick Jonas jealous? Yes, that's correct. Congratulations. Ooh. Are you two, you're going to have to Wait. eat a jelly bean? Oh, this is a bit early. Oh, this is a bit early. Oh, Josh, what do you think you've got there? No, <laughs> looking too happy. Oh, no. Oh, I got a rotten egg. Ooh. Oh, I got lawn. I got barf. Oh, you all three. <laughs> you can spit them out, yeah. Oh. I don't want that in my I don't want that. <laughs> right, next question. What am I? I'm a large cushion filled with polystyrene beads and I'm used as a seat. Oh, AUT bag? University. Sorry, what was that? A bean bag? That's correct. Yes. Auckland Uni, you're going to have to <laughs> eat a jelly bean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, toothpaste. Good. Toothpaste. Oh, toothpaste. Oh. <laughs> Baby wipes. Oh. <laughs> Is it alright? No, I was spitting it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. What is another name for a knitted cap? <coughs> Auckland Uni. Um, a beanie? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> You're going to have to eat another jelly bean. <laughs> 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 Why do we not think of that? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <coughs> Very blah. Oh, no. Oh, oh, a bit and a half of it. <laughs> Baby wipes. You have Hand. to give a little bit of a chew, I think, for each name. Hand dog food. Did you give it? Oh, no. <laughs> it's yucky. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> next question. So the next question is a little bit of a tricky one. How do you spell beaned boozled backwards? Now you only get one chance to do this. Oh, AUT. Go ahead. D. E. L. Z. O. B. N. A. E. B. That was very close. Oh, Dang! Oh, 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 double O. E L Z O O B D A E B. Son. So you're going to have to eat another jelly bean at UT University. Come on. Good this time, Josh. What, do, what have you got? Uh, berry blue. Oh, that's good. That's mm. good. Oh, what is that? Uh, 
Just what do you think awesome. you've got, Haley? Oh, I think it's baby wipes. Yeah. They are bad. Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, you should be putting those on babies. <laughs> <laughs> Next <laughs> question. So oh. how long does it take to make a jelly bean? <coughs> got two oh. options. It's a bit early. No, don't tell them the options. I, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> 7 to 21 days or 7 to 21 hours? <laughs> AUT University. 7 to 21 days. That is correct. Oh. Congratulations, Auckland Uni. You're going to have Oh, I keep forgetting. Lime. Good. Mm. Long clippings. Mm. You're Lime. not saying anything, Sergeant. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm Good, <laughs> bad. That's no, okay. No. It's normal. <laughs> right, next works. question. So, when is National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day? <laughs> Auckland Uni. Oh. April 2nd. That is correct. Yes. Well done. AUT University, you're going to have yeah. to have a jelly bean. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that was a pretty big reaction. Oh, no. What, what was that, Josh? Stunk spray. Oh, we haven't had one of those yet, have we? No, you never should in your Oh, Christy, what did you have? Long clippings. Oh, no. And Hayley? I don't know. Either one of the bad ones, but. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, next question. What is the name of these shoes? Oh, oh uni. Jelly shoes. Correct. So are you two you're gonna have to have a jelly bean? <laughs> let's let's not get skunk spray again. No. 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 Oh, no. Oh, oh yeah, juicy pear. Mm. Doing pretty Hamilton. well. Are you haven't eaten a jelly bean in a few rounds? Mm. Auckland uni, maybe it's your time coming in. <laughs> oh, freshly again. <laughs> Lawn clippings. Again. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so next question. True or false, a jellyfish have a brain. <coughs> oh, Auckland Uni, that was fast. <laughs> false. Correct. <laughs> I'm sorry, AUT, you're going to have to have another jelly bean. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh no, Josh, what was that? <laughs> Baby wipes. Mm. Not the best. No, no, Tutti Fruity. No. This is a nice, like yeah, refresher. yeah, you're mad, <laughs> yeah. It's actually pretty nice, cause I don't know. Well, I haven't right. got anything really bad, so I'm it's assuming not, it's the I, It doesn't taste like stinky socks, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I'm like, not that great. Exactly. Yeah, so, mm, <laughs> okay. Oh. Hey, well, next question. What is this famous New Zealand ice cream flavour? <laughs> Auckland Uni. Jelly tip. Correct. Aut, you're gonna have to have <laughs> another jelly bean. All good. Well, good luck. I really hope that. They're all nice yum. flavors for you. <laughs> Josh, again, what did you get this time? <laughs> Rotten egg. <laughs> Wait, oh. twice, you know? Oh, God. Yeah, I don't want it twice in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do next question? So, in the oh. English fairy tale Jack and the Beanstalk, mm. what did Jack train to five magic beans <laughs> or clean uni? A cow. That's correct. <laughs> AUT University, <laughs> another jelly bean. It's not like <laughs> oh. squeaky things. I just. I think yeah. you're like, oh, that's louder. Let's yeah. go there. But really. <laughs> oh, oh. Yep. Yep. Josh. Yep. <laughs> Stinky socks. Oh, no. You yep. just seem to be getting the worst. No, the, bean, the bean universe just doesn't like Yeah, not at the moment. It's just bad luck for you. Okay. Oh. Time's up. <laughs> Let's take a look at the points scored in that round. So in that round, AUT scored two points and Auckland University scored seven points. But don't worry, there are still two more challenges to come. Time to get straight into our next challenge, which we like to call Bounced. Hey guys, we're here at Bounce and Beyond in Howick, where teams are gearing up for the second challenge. Now for this challenge, each team will have to compete three mini challenges and earn as many points as they can to add to their final score. In our first mini challenge here at Bounce and Beyond, one student from each team must climb to the top of this cone right behind me here. Now at the top of the cone there are two stickers and each team must climb and collect it and that is worth four points. If they'd like two bonus points, they can collect the bonus point sticker in the middle of the cone and the team that reaches the top of the cone and down to the bottom at the fastest wins an extra three points for their final scoreboard. Three, two, one, go! Cheering from the AUT team over here. Very encouraging. Oh, 
has got it. AUT has got their way down and Luke Arnett is still trying to get up. Oh, AUT is grabbing the uh, blue card. Now, who can get down the faster? Oh, oh. Arnett has got caught. Oh, Christian is making a day down. Oh, they're getting caught. Got to climb down. Oh, it's just so close right now. So close, everyone's freaking out. challenge here at Bounce and Beyond. AUT walks away with 11 points and Auckland University walks away with 4. The second mini challenge is pretty straightforward. Each team must try to knock their opponent off the podium using these foam sticks. And each win is worth 3 points. Right, so first up from Auckland University we have Amalia and from AUT we have Hayley. Let's go! from Auckland University.
big day here at Bounds and Beyond. The teams have successfully completed all their challenges. Let's take a look at the final scores from today. Right, so Auckland University, you are sitting on 12 points from today's challenges. Congratulations. And AUT, you have received 17 points Yahoo! from today's challenges. Well done. Yes. Great work, teams. Now, for you at home, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned as Auckland University takes on AUT in our final challenge of Face Off. Kira and welcome back to Universities Compete, the ultimate student game show. Before the break, we saw Auckland University and AUT battle it out in some crazy challenges out at Bounce and Beyond. We have AUT with 19 points and Auckland University also sitting on 19 points. So it's a tie. <laughs> Today's final challenge, Face Off, is a makeup challenge with a twist. AUT, you are first, so get ready. Are you ready, AUT? Yes. You have two and a half minutes on the clock starting now. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to my makeup tutorial. Um, first, I'm just going to apply some foundation. Um, it's really good just to, just to go like real hard out. Um, because sometimes you just like lose a lot of coverage in some areas. Um, today I've gone for like a real kind of like random look. It's kind of like Russian roulette, you know? You just like pick any colour and just go hard. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to apply this makeup here. Make sure you go around town, you know what I mean? So just cover the, you know, the pro problematic areas, um, such as the T-zone, um, also you know, some of the cheekbones. Um, now I'm just going to apply some uh, bronzer here. Uh, the brush that I have is 2x4, 2K, 1, 2. Um, so I'm just going to grab a little bit of that and you, you know you just want to pat the areas that are um that the sun hits you know so you get this that really nice kind of bounce off your face so you know like bouncy faces are the best faces i think so you just you know grab that bronze chuck it in sometimes you put it on your lip but that's fine because you know, you've got the lippy on anyway so it doesn't really matter um yeah so chuck the bronzer there mm, you want to get your temples that jawline want to make that real refined um, yes, I think that's enough now. Okay, now we're going to move on uh, to the blush. Now, the blush is really the key um, kind of component when you're doing your makeup. Um, because, you know, <laughs> oh, my, oh my gosh, my life's a mess. Okay, so just grab the blush and just going to put the blush um, thing into the, yeah, the blush other thing. Okay, cool. And now we're going to put that just onto uh, my own cheekbones. All right, here you go. You just want one swipe there and then just another swipe, just probably on the left hand side. You want to make sure it's nice and even, you know? Um, because you, you know you don't want to look like a doll, you don't want to look like real, real, real pink. It's just really, really weird. Okay, and I think I'm good to go. How does that look? Great. Yes, yes. It's a little bit of a pat down helps as well to set that down. Um, okay, now my favourite part is um, the eyeshadow. You know, because I really think that the eyeshadow really sets your look up. It could you know change from a day look to like an evening look. You can look a bit sultry if you want to. Um, but I think today I'm just going to go. You know, you know. Whatever. So we're just going to pick um, just a random colour because I feel we're random today. Um, I'm just going to pop that on my eyes. There you go. <laughs> you guys have 30 seconds left on oh, the clock. Right. No. Oh, I forgot to mention this is actually a, a two minute 30 makeup tutorial. So we want to do it nice and fast, you know, nice and fast and faster. Okay. Now <laughs> move on to the lippy. Um, today I've chosen to go with, um, hmm, which one? Oh, a black one. Uh, I really. Five, uh -huh, four, uh -huh, three, uh -huh, uh -huh, two, right. mm. one, and time is up, AUT, please put your tools down. Right. <laughs> Josh, you look amazing. You. Let's get a close up on his beautiful face. <laughs> and maybe from a different angle. Beautiful, now it is Auckland University's turn to test their makeup artistry skills. Auckland University, are you ready? Yes. You have two and a half minutes on the clock starting now. <laughs> Hi everyone, so today I'll be doing a get ready with me um, tutorial. Um, so we'll just start off with this um, foundation and this is um, a full coverage foundation that we'll, I'll just apply all over my face. Just rub it in, just get it in all the crevices and stuff. So this is Max, um, Max Studio Fix Fluid, which will um, be a high coverage um, <laughs> foundation okay we'll just rub that in okay moving on to um the bronzer i'll just pick up my bronzer and um i'll just put it on the um just to contour my face so we'll just contour that side yep just to um um and, and oh, well, i don't know to get the high um the high cheekbones so we'll just yep moving on we'll get the blush and we'll just grab the blush it's right yep yep 
And then we're just gonna blush up our cheeks just to make it look more natural. So we're just going for a natural <laughs> look today. Um, we're just gonna blush it up. Yep, yeah. and on the other side. Yep, yeah. that's the one. Moving on to um, my Morph Morphe palette. We're just gonna um, get the eyeshadow and we're just gonna go for um, that colour right there, the sparkly gold colour that will just um, go right on my eyes and we're just going to blend it in, just blend it in, cool, just right in the creases. So we just want to um, make our eyes look a bit bigger today. So on the other side we're just going to blend, oh <laughs> yep, on that side and we just blend it in, blend it in because the more blended in it looks the more natural it will look. Okay, that, I think that's good. Okay, so moving on to eyeliner. We're just gonna grab the eyeliner and we're just gonna put it on my eyebrows. So we're gonna have my eyebrows on fleek for today. So yep, right there, just yeah, the <laughs> light it up. The yep, and then the other one, we're just gonna put on. Just going for this really natural look <laughs> and um, yeah. 30 seconds on the clock. Moving on to the lipstick. my favorite part is lipstick. And we're just gonna go for a bright red lipstick today just to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to really <laughs> get in there with the lip, red lips so I can just get this really nice natural look with the pop of colour for today. So this is my go-to look for um, most of my days and um, I hope you've enjoyed it and yeah. 10, oh, 9, okay. 8, just 7, put some more 6, on. 5, yeah. 4, right 3, 2, mm. One. Well, at Auckland University, your time is up and put down your tools. Thank you. Well done, you look beautiful. Thanks. Yeah, should we get a close up on your face? <laughs> Contour on fleek. Eyebrows I on think fleek. the lipstick's great. Great work, teams. It's now time for our face off challenge scores. Team AUTE, you have been given five points for creativity, eight points for skill and 10 points for your modelling of your makeup look. Team Auckland University, you have been given eight points for creativity, seven points for skill, and seven points for your modelling of your makeup look. Now that we've completed our final challenge, let's take a look at the overall score. Overall, AUT scored 42 points and Auckland University scored 41 points. No! Which means AUT has won today on a university's <laughs> compete. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks for watching this week's episode and make sure to tune in next week where we will have Otago University and the University of Canterbury battle against each other here at Universities Compete.